Yeah, this was a good, a fun, fun place for a dinner. I would highly recommend it for like a first date with somebody or, well, any date with a significant other because you're trying all these different foods with like really distinct flavors. Um, I couldn't choose like a favorite little dish. Like they all were so good. Um, all so tasty. So bold. So colorful. Um, It's a.m. p.m. on day three of food week. We're here at Jamaican Cuisine. Woo! Woo! We got the colors, we got meat cooker yeah. behind us. Things gonna be good, things gonna be tasty. We need some jerk we got, chicken. We got some Jamaican tunes. My hair is wild. It's a Ooh. beautiful spring day. I know. All right. outside we just ordered our food we both got jerk meals it comes with jerk chicken beans and rice and vegetables should be pretty tasty um, PM got a video of the shop it's pretty unique and cool a lot of Jamaican stuff on the walls very hip cool I'm early. I know I'm excited to watch out this Jamaican food day three of food week uh, world food week Food. I got the large one and it is substantially larger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I would have been fine with the small. Yeah, mine's just like perfect, smells perfect. Yeah, it's really good. Looks good too. Good. We got rice and beans with some jerk, some like veggie cabbage and some delicious looking chicken. Wow. Well, you know how it tastes? Yeah. In a bit. Mm. Finished plates, small bellies. Man, that was brutal. That was a lot of food. Oh man, I'm worn out to the max. A lot of food. That was like two servings of food that I ate. And I am finished it. Woo! As my friend, cousin, Hetero life mate CS says, I'm stuck to the gills. That was a lot of food. Um, it was very delicious, actually. The Jamaican homestuck cuisine definitely tastes like somebody would make at home, which is the plus because home cooked meals are always kind of the best meals to get. It's nice to go to a nice restaurant and get a fancy meal every once in a while, but the home cooked meals, you just feel the love. I definitely feel the love in this one. Um, it's really spicy though. Like really, really spicy. It wasn't the chicken that was spicy, it was more like the rice. The rice had like a lot of spice on it, a lot of heat. And so lucky for us, we've been eating a lot of spicy foods on the AM PM show. We did all the spicy ramen, spicy hot wings. So we're pretty much pros at this point. I ate some spicy Indian food yesterday. Um, but just devouring your plate is the best way to go. Overall, this place is pretty awesome. It's very unique. The food is very good. So, would I recommend it? Yes. Two thumbs up. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, ditto to AM. I finished it. My small plate was like the perfect size. The jerk tastes chicken. Tasted so good. It's very like comfort food to me. With the I love the rice and beans and the veggies. It all just came together. I, I enjoyed it a lot because it tasted like, you know, it tasted very home style. Like you go to a Jamaican person's house and this is what they make you. And it probably tastes the same. And it's so good, it's so delicious. Big ol' yay from me. Jamaican home style cuisine. 
it was kind of spicy. I, I probably am going to need like a dessert after this. Maybe a plantain, maybe some ice cream, but oh, it was good. Very good. Very flavorful. Bold flavors. I'm realizing the international cuisine is like, they're like bold flavors, bold spices. They take it up to the max. Two thumbs up? Two thumbs up? A big yay. A yay and a shimmy. <laughs> hey, what up YouTube? It's your girl PM and your boy AM here at the Pacific Pie Company. Pacific Pie. We're going to eat Australian food, yeah. which is part of our World Foods Week food adventures for AM PM Adventures in Real Life. Um, Excited for it. Hungry. Um, what are your expectations? Um, I'm expecting it to be pretty delicious. I'm a fan of pies, like savory pies, not sweet pies. No, oh, some sweet pies. Whatever. Right. I'm a fan of food. See you in a bit. We're here at Pacific Pie Company. I ordered a uh, steak and cheese pie. We got some popcorn for the table. And savory popcorn. What'd you get? I got a cottage pie. With, it has beef, peas and carrots, gravy, potatoes, and like cheese on top. <laughs> um, it's for when you're feeling a little depressed and you want to eat your feelings. I'm not, I'm not depressed, but it just looked really good. <laughs> so I did that, a little indulgent. The food has a Look at that. Look at the cow on the top. Yeah, it's a meat pie with a salad because I want to be dainty. And then what does she get? Oh, this. Oh. Gravy, potatoes, beef. Yeah, Heard me so. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's so good. That's good. Just ate my food. I know. For sure. I asked, I asked, I asked for permission. <laughs> she said she said yes in the I'm, video. I'm a share. It's okay. She said yes. You heard it all, everybody. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you know how this, how this goes. McBlauza. It was really delicious, actually. <laughs> I like super sleepy when I'm going to take a nap. Um, it was such like home-cooked meal. That's how, the best way to describe it. Um, it has everything you want in it. Bread, meat, and cheese with a nice little salad. I mean, that's like the perfect meal for anybody. And the flavors were on point. It tastes very delicious. I enjoyed myself quite a bit. I'm like super sleepy right now. That's how home cooked it felt. Um, what I would give this meal that I had, two thumbs up. And two love eyes. I finished my whole like shepherd's pie. It was so good. Very home cooked. Just felt it just tasted so good. I'm so happy right now. Like, and a little sleepy. I think they need to put like a little air and B upstairs so you can Air and B? Airbnb. Okay. <laughs> I know what Airbnb is, but I know what Air and B is. Oh, I said it wrong. I'm so sleepy now. <laughs> Ooh, like food drunk, but um, yeah, it was so good, really flavorful. There's this extra sauce that I added, kind of like a sweet barbecue, it's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. Cool. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy AM. Girl Pia. We're here at Dara Salam for the last day of World Foods <laughs> Week. Yeah. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. We're gonna eat some Iraqi food, which should be pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Any words? 
like how how how's the World Foods Week been for you? Um, it's been a learning experience. It's opened my eyes and my stomach to new foods. I like new foods. I like new traditions, and being a part of a cultural experience. Wow. Yeah. This is Dar es Salaam. Stop on Paige's wish list. It's very cool in here. We ordered some lamb and chicken kebabs to go with our mixed plate of yummy delights. Look how decorative it is in here. So, O'Neill. It's gonna be exciting. I got our food. I got the lamb was there. It looks like I got some hummus. I don't know. And I don't know. Maybe Andrew knows. Or Ann knows. Got the chicken. Do you know what everything is? Mm, not really. It's probably lentils. Yeah. And like a yogurt. My guess is as good as yours. Okay. So we got some bread. It smells good. We'll give you an update after we eat this. So that was the last of it. Our meal today is finished for World Foods Week. This was really delicious. This was a high recommend for me. I had bubble ganoush with hummus and yogurt mixed in with some cucumbers or curry chicken. All top notch where you can mix with the falafel bread. So I give this two big thumbs up. And yeah, this meal hit the spot. It tasted so good. I think I say that with every <laughs> every time I do a review. It was so good, guys. Uh, yeah, every I love the little dishes of you know, kind of having a plethora of and a variety of food. With the meal, I really like that, and it was really flavorful. The meat was super tasty, so good. I highly recommend it. I would definitely eat here again, like hopefully soon, because it was so good. I want to come back and try more things. So it's very good. I give it two thumbs up. Big hard eyes. Loved